Hello, and welcome to session two of the Girl Scouts Spirit of Nebraska Volunteer Enrichment Series. In session two, you will learn about Girl Scouts special days, volunteer appreciation, and invite a brand, sorry, invite bring a friend ideas. My name is Joanne Savicki, and I'm the troop, the troop support specialist for the East Central area with the Girl Scouts Spirit of Nebraska. I'd also like to introduce Pam Seca, the Troop Support Specialist for the Northeast area who will be assisting in the chat room. Please let us know if you have any questions in the chat room and we'll get those answered for you. So again, this is the Volunteer Enrichment Series. Um, for October 27th, 2020. So here we go. Girl Scout Special Days. To start off with Girl Scout Special Days, we are actually are in the middle of Girl Scout Spirit Week, which is October 26th through 30th um, of this year, 2020. It's time to celebrate, spread the word about the awesomeness of Girl Scouts and invite new girls to join our movement during Girl Scout Spirit Week. Girls, volunteers, and alums can show their Girl Scout enthusiasm by wearing their uniform, giving back to your community, and inviting your friends to get involved. Troop co-leaders, volunteers, council staff, and families can share their stories about the impact of Girl Scouts. Everyone can take a ton of photos, share them on social media, and spread your Girl Scout love to everyone. Use hashtag Girl Scout Spirit Week and tag us on Facebook at at Girl Scouts Nebraska and on Instagram and Twitter at, at Girl Scouts NE. When you complete three activities, you could earn a Spirit Week patch. The link is posted in the chat room for your convenience. And throughout the throughout the Facebook Live, we'll be posting several different links throughout the throughout this time. Use ideas from our Girl Scout Spirit Week activity calendar at your troop meetings to celebrate what it means to be a Girl Scout and to explore our, our program theme, hashtag Girl Scout Boss. You also can use these activities at troop meetings throughout the year. So on Monday, which was yesterday, um, you can invite a friend, invite friends to your troop meeting to make even more Girl Scout friends. Share a Girl Scout song, game, or tradition with your guests. Share a photo of you and a friend you made with Girl Scouts. There is even um, an use our invite a friend meeting guide for easy troop meeting plans. And this link is also posted in the chat room for your convenience. By the way, you can use that invite a friend meeting throughout the year for different events, not just Girl Scout Spirit Week. On Tuesday, today, you can find companies managed or owned by women and then visit one or even just contact one, even via Zoom, have them come to a troop meeting via Zoom. Were they a Girl Scout? What path did they take? Plan your own path and start on it and share a photo of your progress. Wednesday is hashtag Girl Scout Boss. If you could start your own business, what would it be? Earning a Girl Scout entrepreneurship badge or related badge Explore a possible career choice. Share a photo of you as hashtag Girl Scout Boss. Thursday, Girl Scout Pride. Show your Girl Scout Pride by making posters, hosting an open house event, and inviting girls who are not members. Wear a Girl Scout t-shirt to school or participate in any activity that tells others the story of what Girl Scouts do. Share a photo of you in your Girl Scout gear. Friday, Happy birthday, Julia Lowe. At a troop event, celebrate Julia Daisy Gordon Lowe's birthday on October 31st 
also Halloween. Think about the skills and traits you share with her or ones that you would like to develop. Share a photo of your celebration. For Spirit of Nebraska, complete three activities and email the marketing department your photos of your troop or you participating in the Girl Scout Spirit Week. Include your troop number, um, and if it's the leader uh, sending us those, send us the names of the girls. And if it's you individually, send us your name. The first 250 participants to complete the activities and submit a photo will receive a free Juliet Gordon Low fun patch, which is really cool. Your troop doesn't meet on Mondays or anytime during this week? No problem, just invite friends to join your regular meeting. Your troop doesn't plan to work on any of these? No problem. Individual girls can also complete these as well. Email your photos to marketing at girlscoutsnebraska.org. Our next, uh, our next uh, special day is Julia Lowe's birthday, which is October 31st. So one of the amazing things about Julia Gordon Lowe's birthday is that every troop has their own special way of celebrating this amazing woman. Nowadays, not everyone throws a party. Many Girl Scouts use it as a day to give service to others and to participate in community events. Some ideas for Julia Lowe's birthday might be to host a birthday party supply drive. Donate birthday party supplies in order to help others who might not otherwise be able to celebrate or have a happy birthday. But have your girls um, or yourself collect items needed for a simple um, but super fun birthday party. This can include a cake mix, frosting, party hats, noisemakers, and decorations. Then donate several kits to a local food bank or shelter. You can also um, create a special troop to tr tradition. Um, you might consider making a special swap, um, which is a special whatchamacallits affectionately pinned somewhere each year, and then have the girls share their Girl Scout story by telling them why they made that swap. So we talked a little bit about swaps, but uh, um, if you look on Pinterest, you will find millions of swaps ideas. And again, swap is a special whatchamacallit, it's affectionately pinned somewhere. And so it usually has a safety pin with a little craft item that, uh, that you can make. And so you might make a swaps of Juliet's pearls to remind girls of the personal sacrifices she made to ensure Girl Scouts continued to grow. If you've heard the story before, Juliet Lowe sold her pearls um, to uh, help, help uh, make ends meet with Girl Scouts or to start Girl Scouts. You might make plans to meet up with a fellow Girl Scout friend or a Girl Scout troop or even your sister troop to enjoy some time together and exchange swaps. Another idea is to stand on your head. I came across this fun fact and it's amazing. Did you know that one of Juliet's special skills was standing on her head? She stood on her head every year on her birthday to prove she could still do it. She also celebrated her nieces and nephews' birthdays by standing on her head as well. Rumor has it she even once stood on her head in the boardroom of the national headquarters to show off her new Girl Scout shoes. Another idea is it's your community, serve it. Since 1912, the Girl Scout slogan has been do a good turn daily. October is a great month to do something in your community to make an impact and to help others. Talk to girls about who they think needs the most help in their community and brainstorm places that might need volunteers. If you are not sure where to get started, check out your local parks department, your food banks, community gardens, soup kitchens, and animal shelters. To keep things girl led, allow older girls to lead the outreach to the organizations they want to serve. That way they're really doing, um, they really own their volunteering uh, experience and they are invested in its success. No matter what you choose to do, Julia Lowe's birthday is one of the special Girl Scout days of the year that unites our entire sisterhood. And it's kind of fun to know that Girl Scouts around the world are all partying with you on October 31st. 
you can check out the link in the chat that has some really great ideas about Juliet Love's birthday. There's even a scavenger hunt um, idea that uh, is a very cool one as well. Another special day. Another special day is World Thinking Day, which is typically held on February 22nd. Now on our council in the spirit of Nebraska, we're also selling cookies during this time. And so World Thinking Day events might happen in January or even in March so that girls can achieve their cookie goals. In, uh, um, in the link in the chat, it will give you a little bit more information about World Thinking Day. So on February 22nd, Girl Scouts and Girl Guides across 150 countries celebrate World Thinking Day. That is one big celebration. The World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts, typically known as WAGS, along with Girl Scouts of the USA and the other WAGS member organizations have celebrated World Thinking Day since 1926. That's when delegates from around the globe met at Camp Edith Macy, now called Edith Macy Conference Center in New York, and agreed that February 22nd would now be known as a special day for Girl Guides and Girl Scouts worldwide. Observed by 10 million Girl Guides and Girl Scouts worldwide, World Thinking Day 2021 celebrates what it means to be a peace builder, an important component of our global movement. Check out the activity guides in the link to explore this theme and celebrate being part of the diverse global sisterhood that is Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. Again, the theme for World Thinking Day 2021 is peace building. So peace building is at the heart of Girl Scouting and Girl Guiding and is as vital and relevant today as for the last hundred years. By completing the steps in the Stand Together for Peace activity pack, Girl Guides and Girl Scouts will stand strong, stand up, and stand together for peace building. In Stand Strong, girls will understand what peace building means They'll explore issues and actions that can lead to conflict. Wait, explore the issues and actions that can lead to conflict and those that lead to peace and empower themselves to be peace builders. In Stand Up, explore, the girls will be able to explore conflict situations from different perspectives and they'll get to practice adapting their behavior to resolve conflict and build peace. They'll explore the link between discrimination, exclusion, and peace as well. In Stand Together, the girls will make choices rooted in their values, consider the ripple effect of their actions and how they may impact different groups, and they'll take action towards creating a more welcoming and peaceful society. So what do we do on World Thinking Day? We celebrate World Thinking Day and are one of and we are one of 10 million that are celebrating during this day. We're also inspired by the history and impact of our global movement. And we're connecting with the worldwide sister, sisterhood of Girl Guiding and Girl Scouting. And we're taking action and speaking out on issues we most care about. You can also earn the World Thinking Day um, 2021 badge. And in the link, it will also talk about uh, what it looks like in, in, uh, in the pin. You can also pre-order these at Juliet's Boutique in Spirit of Nebraska. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to wait until like February-ish to do that, but, um, but Juliet's Boutique is your go-to place. Again, the email for contacting Juliet's Boutique is shop at girlscoutsnebraska.org. Our next special day is uh, Girl Scouts birthday, which is March 12th, as well as Girl Scout week, which is, um, so Girl Scouts birthday is held on March 12th, which commemorates the day in 1912 when Juliet Gordon Lowe officially registered the organization's first 18 girl members in Savannah, Georgia. 
Girl Scout Week is celebrated each March, starting with the Girl Scout Sunday and ending with Girl Scout Sabbath on a Saturday. And somewhere between this time is the Girl Scouts birthday, March 12th. So wherever March 12th is during that week, that Sunday to Saturday is Girl Scout Week. So Girl Scout Week is a time to celebrate Girl Scouts as groundbreakers, big thinkers, and role models. The link in the chat room offers ideas for girls to choose their own way to be a girl, G-I-R-L, which is a go-getter, innovator, risk taker, and leader during this important week focused on Girl Scouts. Celebrate with us by showing your Girl Scout spirit and pride on a daily basis during this week. Each day features a special theme along with suggested ways to participate. Activities may be done on one's own, as a family, or as a group or troop. Below in your link um, is an overview of each day. I invite you to take a look at the link and explore ways that you and your girls can celebrate Girl Scout Week 2021. Another special day is Girl Scout Leaders Day. which honors all the volunteers who work as leaders and mentors in partnership with girls. Girls, their families and communities should find a special way to thank their adult Girl Scout volunteers. Every April, we celebrate the powerful life-changing contributions our volunteers make to Girl Scouts all year long. No matter what the world throws at us, you are the ones who keep the Girl Scout spirit strong and whatever you bring to Girl Scouts at this time, your efforts are incredible and so greatly appreciated. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And thank you for those that are listening today. Um, so every year on April 22nd, Girl Scout Leaders Day, we give extra kudos to you as troop leaders and any and extraordinary volunteers. Um, troop leaders, we love you and we're forever grateful to you for being the role models girls look up to, especially in challenging times like these. There are, <clears throat> there are a multitude of ideas you could do for your parent troop helpers and co-leaders. In the Pinterest link, you'll find some really cool ideas on ways to make them feel special. These are some of my favorites. And there's a poem um, in the mix of all of those ideas that uh, is very short and it's called Because of You. Because of you, she makes a promise and keeps it. Because of you, she learns a law and lives it. Because of you, she goes into the world and changes it. Because of you, the Girl Scout volunteer. And so that one, that one just gives you a little bit of chills. Um, but that one, I love that one. I love it seeing that. I love sending that to volunteers just to make them feel special because you are special. There's a couple others that are very cool in that Pinterest link that uh, um, you, for your adult helpers, your, um, your co-leaders, um, you can make like a little uh, sandwich baggie full of marshmallows, Hershey bars, and the graham crackers, just, you know, you know, a couple each. And then at the little cardboard piece at the top that's stapled to it, you can say, uh, we need and then some more is in big letters, volunteers like you. And so that's kind of cool. So we need some more volunteers like you. Another one that I totally adore is uh, getting some herbs. And uh, there's one where there's a time in a little uh, flower pot or like a little cup. And it says, thank you for your time, T-H-Y-M-E. Um, there's another one with Starburst that has a little card on it that says bursting with appreciation for your star studded effort. That one's a good one too. So volunteer appreciation. Um, you're, you, you, gosh, I always, I always get chills when I talk about this because uh, you bring the power of Girl Scouting to girls and we can't thank you enough for all that you do. Um, with girls and for Girl Scouts. Um, things may look and feel very different right now, but what hasn't changed 
is the outsized impact you continue to have on girls' lives. When you take the lead as a volunteer, girls discover that they too can take on leadership roles and change the world. So until December 15th, you can nominate your co-leaders, your troop cookie managers, your fall product managers, parent helpers for an award. In the link in the chat, it will show you um, uh, to learn, it'll, it'll show you the link to learn more about the Helpful Adult Award and the Volunteer of Excellence Award. These are all important links to share with your parents as well to keep them informed and to let them learn about um, volunteer appreciation. It's okay, and I'm giving you permission right now, it is okay to pat yourself on the back because you do a lot. You do a lot in planning, you do a lot in working with the girls, and it's okay, I'm giving you permission. Um, also in the link, um, the Spirit of Nebraska has a wonderful um, appreciation, a volunteer appreciation, sorry, a volunteer appreciation guide. And so in that guide, you'll also see what's called our um, attitude of attitude of gratitude patch or gratitude of attitude patch. I think it's attitude of gratitude patch. So you'll see you'll see several different other ideas um, in that volunteer appreciation guide. So lastly, this evening, um, we'll talk about invite a friend or bring a friend ideas. There are a lot of creative ways to invite friends to your meetings or activities and have them join your troop or to be an individual girl member. Here are some ideas. So Girl Scouts is all about making new friends and keeping the old. These tips will help you invite new girls to your troop make new Girl Scouts feel welcome and engage your existing troop in the process. To find new girls for your troop, especially when new troops are beginning to grow or existing troops are looking for some additional girls, troops can create invitations, they can host bring a friend meetings or contact the council office if you'd like to be connected to prospective Girl Scouts in your area. Girls can create pep sorry, paper invitations and pass them out at school, sports meetings, club meetings, church, or out in the out in the community. Or you can use social media to get the word out. Make sure girls only include their first name on the information they distribute and have all the inquiries come through the troop later. Um, in the link, uh, check out the Girl Scouts Rivers Valley link to see their expansion resources that you can use to invite families to Girl Scouts. They have invitations, postcards, flyers, Facebook covers, and a Facebook post image. Um, last, or another, um, you can host a Bring a Friend troop meeting. It's common that girls might want to invite friends to a troop meeting to see what Girl Scouts is all about. You can create special Bring a Friend meeting um, for your troop or designate certain meetings throughout the year where girls can bring friends. Be sure to consult the safety checkpoints for the required girl adult ratios for those meetings. You can even invite girls to your Zoom meetings. And especially during this pandemic time, we might be all using Zoom meetings. Um, so again, I say thank you for being a Girl Scout volunteer. We truly appreciate all that you do for your girls and for Girl Scouts. So this evening, I thank you very much for taking the time to spend with Pam and I. I hope that you learned a lot along the way, or at least that we gave you some ideas to think about. As always, if you have any questions that we did not answer, I invite you to send an email to your troop support specialist. And I did not tell Tam, Pam to do this, but Pam, if you could, if you could type in um, the areas like, um, and then our email addresses, that would be great. Sorry about that. I forgot to type that for you. Um, so just do like East Central, Joanne, and then Jace Vicky at Girl Scouts Nebraska.org. Um, so Pam will put those in the in the um, chat room for you if you don't know who your people are. Um, and so again, as always, if you have any questions, we're here for you. And so I invite you to send an email to your troop support specialist 
maybe just to even say hi. Sometimes it gets a little lonely if we don't hear from you. And so I invite you to send an email to us just to say hi and how you're doing, because we all want to know how we're all doing and just checking in with each other during this time. So thank you very much for sharing your evening with me and have a great evening and stay strong and celebrate Girl Scouts. Thank you.